Hey guys, today we're working on goats. Well, one goat. And to explain what's going on, here's Dr. Doles. Hi, um, today we are working on Monterey Jack here. He was our first baby born this year, and actually our first male that we had to disbud. And so as he's gotten older, he's developed a few small scurs, and since we're going to keep him as a buck, I would rather not have to deal with those as they grow. So today we are going to sedate him, uh, give him some pain medication, and remove those scurs uh, using a, the goat iron. But again, we're only doing that after he is unconscious, mm -hmm. and we, I'm going to do a nerve block on him so that once he wakes up, his head will uh, not, he won't be in any pain afterwards. It'll last several hours. So he weighs, we got him out and put him on the scale here. He weighs about 47 pounds. So I'm going to sedate him with xylazine, which is a veterinary anesthetic, alpha 2 agonist. Bring your words up there. That's Graham. Hi, Graham. He's our witness today. <laughs> and I'm going to get this to him <laughs> in the muscle. We will wait 10 minutes to let it take its effect, um, see if he needs any more and then we'll set him up to take those horns off. Beautiful. Graham, any final words, buddy? Do you want to say hi? Hi. No? <laughs> hey, Monty. You feeling sleepy, buddy? Are you feeling sleepy? You can go to sleep, it's okay. Go ahead and go to sleep. Rambo, are you feeling sleepy, buddy? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here, she's just shaving his head away from the parts that are going to get pulled off and re-burnt. And that's just so the iron gets to what it needs to be faster and doesn't have to burn through the hair and then it cools off the iron. Whoa, hi buddy. Not asleep yet, huh? <laughs> One of the things you really have to pay attention to when anesthetizing any ruminant is that they don't regurgitate. Um, because obviously they have a huge <laughs> rumen full of uh, digestive juices and um, plant material. Mm -hmm that when they're not protecting their airway when they're asleep, they will regurgitate and aspirate yeah. which will kill them yeah. or cause them to have very bad pneumonia. And we've all seen now how bubbly those yeah. rumen juices get. So, uh, we withheld his food for 12 hours last night. And then when he's asleep, we're gonna be very careful to keep his head above mm. the level of his rumen yeah. and also keep his left side up. Um, that would just decrease the risk of him aspirating any material from his rumen. You can see we built this nice comfy bed for him out of a milk stand. All right. So this is the part where we're putting in the nerve blocker, like Aaron said. And this stops him from feeling anything later, at least for a few hours. So I'm Brent blocking the corneal branch of the nerve that goes to the horn and the zygomatic branch that goes to the horn. And I'm just feeling for anatomic markers that tell me where that nerve lies. <coughs> Give him a couple more minutes. Graham, how you doing buddy? Still doing good? Yeah? You having fun? Okay. Hey guys, so Aaron grabbed uh, some pliers and... They're called car malts. Okay, yeah. <laughs> vet pliers. And she just uh, pulled these little guys off. That They weren't on there that hard at all. And you can see here that there's just a little bit of oozing afterwards. So now we're going to grab the iron and... Uh, 
burn some spots. Right, we're going to try and show you what we're doing with the iron. Just One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can see that nice copper ring color. That's how you know you did it right. I'm just going to let his head cool off a little bit and then do a couple more spots right there. Yeah. You definitely want to give him a rest in between rings because you, well, with the babies it's really important. With the big ones it might be less of a concern, yeah. but you still want to let him cool off. Um, and you can see this is, even when when they're young, we, we do this too, but we don't sedate them. We just numb them so they don't feel it. And they do great. They recover really quickly. And this will save his life. Right, yeah. He won't get caught up in fences and yeah. potentially strangle himself. He won't hurt us. Right. Yeah. Hurting um, us is a big one because those, you start pulling on a collar to try and lead a goat somewhere and they, they don't want to go and they tangle your fingers in, in their horns and now you have a broken finger. So it's better for everybody. Graham is still doing great over there. Hey, buddy. Uh huh. What are you doing, buddy? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what happened? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Just wanted to show you real quick that Monty's doing just fine. He's still a little groggy, but he's up and around now. Oh, Reggie, he doesn't need that, buddy. <laughs> he's still a little wobbly, but he's doing fine. You can see he's, he's not shaking his head in pain or anything. Oh, hi, Fimbo. Hey, bud. So, everything went great. He did really well. All right, buddy? Yep, okay. Okay. These are all the boy, boys, by the way. Except for F Fimbo here is, uh, he's neutered, but, uh, he's a very sweet goat. Keeps the boys in line, don't you, bud? Don't you, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Alright. Oh, hey, Cheddar. Hey, big guy. Hey, big guy. You're a good boy too, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Finn, but he gets jealous. I'm sorry. Alright. Alright, boys. You keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Alright, okay. Yep. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I really hope you're enjoying the series. If you want to learn more about what I do and what Permethos does, I encourage you to go to learn.permethos.com and you can see all of the different offerings we have for courses, weekly TV shows, and even more. So if you like what I do here and you want to support me, that's the best way to do it. Thank you.